Hogs Vloggers, it's been a brilliant week of IPL. We've seen a lot of movers and shakers up and down the ladder. We've also got some big matches coming up next week, and there's been some fantastic performances that I want to talk about. But there's one thing that I've noticed in this IPL so far, bowling attacks. If you've got a dominant bowling attack, you are are bringing the cream to the top. You are moving up that ladder as quick as up. Wink. Now, Gujarat Titans out the top of the order. They are led well by Hardik Pandya. Now, I think he's been the best captain in this IPL so far. And I won't be surprised if he captains India in white ball cricket in two years' time. He's the leader. He takes the bull by the horns. And when the pressure's on, he wants to be out there in the moment and take it on. He'll give himself the ball when the game's on the line and he's up against the best batsman in the opposition team. He won't leave it to anyone else. Even though he's got the best bowling attack in the lineup in Shammy, Lockie Ferguson, Joseph. Look at those three quick bowlers. And then you've got Dayal, the uh, left arm quick, that just complements those three experienced fast bowlers. Opposition teams will go after Dayal and he's going to pick up some good wickets later on in the tournament. And that complemented by Rashid Khan. So that's the best bowling attack in the competition. That's why Gujarat Titans are on the top of the ladder. Now, the movers and shakers that have moved up the ladder. RCB have moved up five places and gone to second this week. And it's all because of their bowling attack. Hazelwood coming into the action. Brilliant stuff. Yes, Fafta Plessy made a brilliant 90 the other day, but Hazelwood's the leading wicket taker during the week. He's been sensational both with the wickets and economically. He supported Saraj, and then you've got Harsha Patel. Good, balanced uh, attack there in the pace department. Then you've got options with your spin. You've got Maxwell bowling some right-arm form finders, which batsmen don't really want to go after in the power play, so he's doing his job there. Then you've got Shabazz Ahmed with his left arm off spin. What variety have you got there? Uh, brilliant stuff. And Hasaranga, perfectly balanced bowling attack, using their part-timers to full effect. So RCB, brilliant stuff. And the next mover in the uh, IPL has been Sunrisers Hyderabad. And that's been because, yes, they've got a fairly good batting department, but their bowlers have stepped up. Bhuvnish Wakuma, Malik, absolute extreme pace. Malik is finding confidence. He feels part of it. He's putting shivers up opposition batsmen's backsides and they don't want to face him. They're backing away. Nat Rajan and the inclusion of Joe Hansen, Joe Hansen, the South African left arm quick, has just added a different dynamic. And if they get Washington Sundare back in this bowling attack with his all-round ability, that is the that's just the second best bowling attack in the competition with balance. At the moment, they've got away with a couple of ins and outs, uh, just chopping and changing, depending on the uh, opposition team. They're getting away with it at the moment, but they need Washington Sundare back in there. So those three teams are the ones that I'm loving. The teams that I've been very disappointed with are Punjab. Punjab, I thought they were going all right, but their batting has been woeful. They're relying on Livingston. If Livingston doesn't fire, well, they're blowing out of the water at the present moment. And their bowling attack is just not operating effectively. Rabada is not up to his best. rabada has got to find form, carry the attack with him. If they don't do that, well, they are going to be blown out of the water and they're going to be with CSK and Mumbai Indians down the bottom of the pack at the end of the year. So their bowling's dropped off. And it's the same with KKR. My team, KKR, I've been disappointed with them. They're starting to panic. They're chopping and changing their lineup. They've got Venkatesh Iyer opening the batting, then all of a sudden he's down the order. Then they've gone back to Narayan opening the batting. Chakravarti, another big uh, big coop that they spent a lot of money on. He's not firing. Opposition teams are taking him to the cleaners, so he's not able to keep that pressure on. And they're just chopping and changing their third quick. They had Mavi the other day, but they just... They've got to find a balanced attack and back that balanced attack and go with it. You can't chop and change all the time. So KKR have got to find that right balance. And for me as well, I think they've got to go back with Rahani at the top of the order and keep with Billings. That will add better batting depth because I don't think Sheldon Jackson's quite 
up to it at IPL level. Now, the big performers this week, yes, we've got to put the batters in there because I've got stuck into the batters earlier on because it's bowlers that we knew matches, as we've seen with the stats. But Rahul with his 100. Butler, what a magnificent 100 he made the other day for Rajasthan Royals. Fafta Plessy, Miller with their 90s, as well as Rashid Khan for his 40 off 21 deliveries against CSK. Now, all of these players, what do they have in common? Yes, they have short swings, short back lifts with a swing, and they use timing to find the boundary. And they're not trying to overhit the ball. That's why they have been the best performers with the bat this week. Now, on the bowling department, there's two standouts that I want to uh, look at. Oh, actually, three standouts. Malik with his sheer pace. Oh, he's, he's coming of age. He's... Coming of age, Mr. Malik. But those four wickets he had the other day, was it four wickets? Yes, they were absolutely sublime. He had the opposition team on the back foot. It was Arbanaf who was backing away. He was scared of the pace. I'm sorry, Arbanaf, but you were scared. And I'm feeling for you because I would have been as well facing that sheer pace. Bhuvnish Wakuma is starting to really find his straps. We know how good he is, but he's just started to trust himself coming back from injury. But the big one is Hazelwood. And Chahal from uh, Rajasthan Royals, Hazelwood from RCB. Hazelwood's just added a different dimension to the RCB attack. His extra height, extra bounce is becoming too much for opposition teams. And uh, Chahal getting four wickets in and over. That was just sensational. Actually, that was a performance of the week. Got to give it to the leg spinner. Could have put uh, Kuldeep Yadav in there as well with his little comeback as well. Uh, but Chahal, he's the bowler of the week, the performer of the week with his four wickets in and over. Hey, guys, I hope you really like this vlog. Get your comments downstairs. Who was your best performer? Do you agree with me with the teams? Do you agree with me that the bowling attack is the difference between winning and losing this tournament. I'd really love to see your comments downstairs. Hey, guys, I'm going to go and have some tea right now, and I am going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the next seven days of the IPL because there's some ripper games there. Get on board and enjoy, guys.